Yo, what is up guys? Toxic Line here and in today's video I'll show you how to get a sick intro that you just saw and basically just like any other intro um, you can customize it to make your own and uh, etc. You can even uh, begin from scratch and stuff. Um, so basically, we're gonna be using Panzoid for this on um, on a Windows PC, if you can't tell. And uh, make sure to watch till the end so you can see the outro as well. It's completely sick. Like it's my favorite outro so far. So first of all, what you wanna do is search up Panzoid Community Templates. And then you just basically go into the community templates site. Then you'll see a bunch of different intros. So just for this sake, let's like check out one of these intros and look a little closer on it. Or like, yeah, just check it out and um, explore what we can do with it. Okay, so once you've found an intro that you'd like to like make your own or customize it, whatever, once you've clicked on it, uh, clicked on it, it'll come up like to a site like this. Then you just press on Open in Clip Maker, and it'll just like transfer you over to a site that looks like this. And well, it might take a little bit time to load, but once it loads up, you'll see something similar to this. Uh, it's a little bit weird. So if you just press on the I right here, then you'll basically render the video, so it'll become how it how it would look like. On an intro so if we just play it off so yeah that's basically how it looks like now if you want to change the name if we go completely to the beginning and turn off the render then we'll see the name and basically to change the name you'll have to go here on the side let me just get that full screen for you so you'll see this kind of like square uh, which is called objects just a second objects right under the mountain right here um, and then you go into here and basically just scroll down till you see text and where it says name because here it is name and here it is text name uh, don't uh, bother bother about the group. It just uh, basically tells you that this is the section where the group is, or like the the text group is. So basically, if you want to change it, you uh, click on it, then you'll see the text right here. So since I'm toxic line, I'll just write my name, toxic line, boom. And now, just to confirm it, you have to click just anywhere, and it'll like turn into the thing. So there's often two names that you have to change just because there's like a background one and one uh, primary one. So let me just do that. In there. Now if we go into the render mode, uh, as I like to call it, and play it off. So that looks pretty sick and um, basically a thing I didn't notice before was like the render thing so when I played off an intro it looked like so crappy like this but like once you go, go into render it looks sick just keep that in mind so let's say for example you've made the intro you want so and you want to download it or add your own music so you go if you want to add your own music you just go over here audio plus mu music and then you go into basically audio file select and you choose it make sure it's a mp3 file not mp4 mp4 is the thing you'll be converting it to so then you go into kind of like this download area and then um, I recommend to use balanced but if you want to download it fast and low quality just use fastest render now uh, this doesn't really matter because we will be converting it to an mp4 via a um, uh, website on the internet. Then just start the video render, wait for it to finish up. So once it's downloaded after like two minutes or something, and uh, then you just uh, click on download your video.
it'll bring up a site like this and I'm just gonna save it and then open where it's located oh shit it's too bright um, then we'll see that it is this one right here I'll just just change the name um, just so I know it's the one YouTube tutorial and yeah I'm just gonna have it there basically and uh, now you have to go onto like a converter I'll link it down in the description um, if the language is like weird then you just go into the corner right here and change it to whatever you prefer now you open up a file first of all and then I'm just gonna find it Wait, YouTube YouTube tutorial I think I'll have to go over here then uh, two seconds YouTube um, there it is so open it up and now since it is a dot M K V then you just uh, since I have a iOS device I'll just convert it to Apple if you have an Android convert it to Android and you if you want to have it on your phone and um, basically the other ones you don't have to worry about them now I always like to choose the highest resolution just because it's it looks better and then you convert it it might take a little bit of time but for me it goes pretty fast even though I don't really have internet right here uh, just gonna take a few seconds so now it's finally downloaded now you just basically press on download save it and uh, might take like 10 seconds or so to actually save it Now I'll just open where it's located at and uh, drag it onto my uh, desktop or like uh, whatever this is. And uh, now it is converted as you can see it is a mp4 file instead of a mkv file. So after this, I uh, if you have an iOS device go into the um, iTunes and make sure that you have a cable that you can charge with because you're gonna plug your iPhone or like your phone into there and uh, basically add it to the library I'm gonna show you how that looks like okay now I've uh, plugged it in so now you just click on the phone logo right here then you go over to films or whatever press on file add to my library or camera roll whatever it says there and you just find the one that you converted um let me see if we can actually find it though um youtube there it is mp4 then open and uh, if we look over here it should be here video there it is youtube tutorial so I like to choose like include all and then you just basically synchronize it and uh, that does the job and um, I'm just gonna change over to my iPad so I can show you what that looks like on my phone okay guys so as we can see it is syn synchronizing uh, with the iPhone so once it is finally synchronized uh, it should end up in your movie folder right here like the videos folder this folder right here so there's a way how to get it out of there into your camera roll I'll show you that in a second uh, but first of all you just need to convert into the movie folder it might take a little bit of time if you haven't uh, like synchronized in a while so I'll just wait till that is over okay so it is finally finished it took like I don't know five minutes the, that okay that's maybe not a lot but it felt like forever so anyway now you go into that uh, like um, app 
uh, videos, whatever. And um, you'll see basically I have a lot of intros here. I couldn't choose. Like It was so difficult because I loved every single one I f could find. And Okay, so it is the bottom one right here, YouTube tutorial. But basically, we can't really use it because it is in that folder. There's nothing we can do. But I basically, I found a solution. Uh, well, this isn't like uh, recommended, but I just did it. Um, basically, this is what you should do. You should download Video to Camera Roll. It's an app in the App Store, which allows you to transfer any video there uh, from there to your camera roll. So I'm just going to do YouTube tutorial. And then just save to camera roll. There it is saved. But like if you, uh, I have bought the app for like I don't know, two dollars or so, maybe three, and that allows you to copy the videos without a watermark. That's the only thing. I mean, it's not big. Uh, let me just get that. Um, I'll show you how the watermark looks like. So this is a video I did earlier. As you can see, that is the watermark. It is quite big. And this is without so that's why I bought it because I went quite like quality videos and um, well that's basically it and then you have it now in your camera roll oh, I was in camera roll sorry my bad so let me just get out and scroll down and there we have it in my camera roll Now, the way I use the videos from my camera roll is via capture. So if I go in here and uh, basically, here's the video. So if I just click on it right here and the plus sign, uh, wait two seconds, that is a little bit difficult. Then I just add an existing clip. And if I go over to my intro, my favorite intro, uh, two seconds. There's so much to choose from here. Um, where is it? Here it is. Then I choose, choose it, and I drag it over to basically the beginning, like so. And once I start a video now, this how it is. So that is quite sick and yeah uh, if you have any questions make sure to leave them down in the comment section down below and thank you so much for watching this video if we can please hit 10 likes I'd be amazed and I'd uh, make a tutorial like this uh, again just uh, comment whatever you'd like to see and I'd make it and uh, remember guys stay awesome keep doing what you're good at don't don't give a shit about the haters, but if they do get on your neck, make sure to use their own words against them. And, uh, well, how should I say? They hate you, because they ain't you. Tell me pretty lies, look me in the face, tell me that you love me, even if it's fake.